Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to talk about how to use the ping feature to see if a device is responding on a network. For this video, we're going to be using the PLC Tools SIM IPE IP Explorer. But if you were using a PC, the principles would be the same. I'd also like to thank Mike who asked this question that brought up this video. Like I always tell you, ask any questions that come up. Your question this week could easily be next week's automation topic. When you power up the SIM IPE for the first time, it's going to ask you to configure its network settings. Now here's the catch to this screen, is this device is awesome at discovering devices out on networks without knowing anything about them. I'm going to show two examples of what you could actually do here. As first, I could say, you know, I have no clue, and I can just hit the cancel button. And then I can go down here to read unknown IP address. And if I plug a cable from our IP Explorer, and we're just going to plug it directly into this Micro 820, then it's going to show the IP address 192.168.110. So from here, it actually says right down here, OK to save this IP address. When you click that OK button, it's going to save it as the target IP. And now we should be able to go and ping this device. But we're going to get timeouts. And that's because we haven't configured the IP address of the IP Explorer. So one way to think about it is the IP Explorer is a great listener. You could put it in a room with 20 other people or 20 other IP addresses and it can listen and it can discover all of them. But for its more advanced features such as, well, the ping, assigning an IP address, replacing a static IP address, anything where it needs to directly communicate with the device, you do have to have the IP configured on this. Now let's go through one other way that you can end up in this because this time we had no IP address configured. Let's go back and let's go up to prepare address, then network setup. And there you can see we have zeros for our setup. But this time, let's set it just a little differently. Because, okay, I think in Mike's case, he was at 192.168.0. So let's set that to that. Let's go for 192.168.0. One sixty eight zero, and we'll just throw one at it for now. We know this is one ninety two one sixty eight one ten. And this is 192.168.0.1. Now, I am not a networking expert. So this is a layman's description is, for the most part, your first three octets of an IP address must match. And the fourth one must be unique. So since this one is 192.168.0 and this is 192.168.1, they won't communicate. Now let's make sure we understand this part because this was Mike's problem is he's like, hey, wait, I can go to read unknown IP address. And yeah, I see it. But when I go to the ping, I don't get any responses. Well, that is because those first three octets don't match. So if we go back to prepare address, and actually it tells you there, occasionally it'll pop up target IP address conflict. That means that there is an issue with the target IP and the IP address of the IP Explorer. But if we go down and go to our IP address, let's just change this to 192.168.1.1. Now we can go down to ping device and our pings are going to be successful. So there's a real quick way to know whether a device is actually responding on a network and also to know that your IP address scheme, we'll call it, that you're thinking of using will work with that particular device because you also have the subnet and depending on how your IP and subnets are configured, you can actually narrow down what you can actually communicate with. But for the most part, and again, this is not networking, 
as long as the first three octets match and that last octet is unique, then you should be able to communicate with it. So Mike, I hope that helps you out. Like I always tell you guys, any questions that come up, feel free to put them in the comments. Also, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and also like this video. It really helps us out. Till next time. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.